Welcome to Wayland Jutari. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris with the 3.10 Pikes Dispatch and with all the DLCs. Yeah, we have a tradition to choose here. Let's go, and I have... I was... I've been thinking about it between episodes, so I want to go with Supremacy here. So the adoption effect will be Naval Capacity 20 right away and Army Damage plus 20%. So I, I knew war is brewing more and more here. So we will see what's going on. Uh, let's see with the Istrans here. I'm so fucking tempted to soon be attacking them. I don't I want them to be equal, then I will attack them. We also are researching more fleet command limits. I will build more fleets more ships when that one is done. That will do fine. Research actualized. Blocker liquidated. Seclocarni is a stellar polity, close borders, fine. Diplomatic communication, Istran, yeah, they did that to us. He insulted us. Shield her, oh, we can improve that then as well on our ships. Building. Building, yeah, building costs no. That's an L gate, but no, that's a ja oh, jump drive. But jump drive, jump drive is dangerous. No, I don't want jump drive. Change, yeah, I don't want that. Let's go with this one just to do this. It will go fast. How is my influence? We are expanding towards. This area, I want that planet. We cannot terraform it until I've got it. Let's go fast speed, by the way. We're losing consumer goods pretty fast. That we are. Uh, let's see if we can buy some. It's pretty damn expensive. Let's buy those 2,500. Damn, we are losing consumer goods. Feels like I'm constructing that constantly, and anyway, yeah, we're we a lot of the it's it's on a way there, so I think it's we, could, we should be fine soon enough. Look okay, this. Research actualized. Newly founded colonies. Um, City districts, civilian industries, that and that. Also, robot assembly plants. I want here. Uh, fleet command limit, nice. We can do it again. And we will. So let's build what we have right now. So now it's up to 110. The Primus fleet, let's see. What can we do? What do I want? I want to have 15 destroyers. Uh, I want to have 40 Corvettes. Let's go 16 destroyers and then... No, 15 destroyers. What about the cruiser that's... Yeah, okay. Like this. That will cost me 5,800. We can do that with all fleets. So Secundus, increase 1, Cruiser 1, up to 15, and we already have 40, yeah. So Tertius, we have 40, 15 destroyers, 1 and 1, like this. 
That's 13,492 alloys, 69 moats, 38 gas, probably more, I don't know. But reinforce that, build that fleet for me. Blocker liquidated. Who is the new CEO? What? <laughs> no, we have a mushroom CEO. Yeah, race doesn't matter in the uh, Wayland Yutani Corporation, only money. That's how it is. Oh my god, uh, we need this. And we also need. Uh, not that, no. So that's five. <sighs> we need trade going here. So build two of those. And I hope that will fix itself. Uh, exploring Astral Rift. Yep, yeah, go, go, go. You go. We can upgrade all of these guys after they have constructed their stuff. What are we... We have Astral Rifts full. Yeah, we cannot really use it, so... Peaceful application. Happiness 5% up. Blocker liquidated. Uh, this moon of Nunki Secundus. Okay. It has one moon, yeah? Some data regulars have been noticed, especially the moon Nunki 3A. Does not seem to be made of remotely similar material to Nunki Secundus. It suggests it was formed at the same time, but rather uniform elsewhere and somehow was captured by the gravity of Nunki Secundus at a later date. Quite where Nunki 3A came from is currently a mystery. Situation log revised. Yeah, so that's a s I think we can study that from Earth. Yes, we can. Check it out what that depends on. Oh. My favorite, my favorite astral plane here so far. We have extended, we, we're trying to collect some white stuff from the walls there. We have extended a retrieval armed and gathered sample of uh, the dark material from the wall. Dark? I thought it was white, but it's dark maybe. We were surprised to find that the sample maintained an initiate, initiate height as we pulled it free to analyze it. Its properties have much in common with an ink or paint, although the components of the pigments are of a type unknown. Some of the binding agents used in this ink are actually a unique form of dissolved crystals. As an experiment, we drew a line using a small amount of the sample and waited. A short time later, a nearly identical mark appeared parallel to it. We repeated this action several times, each with a different amount of the material, iterating through several different designs. Each time the mark was reproduced exactly and uh, in the same orientation. That's pretty cool. Given the result, there is a reason to believe that some sort of entity is making use of the material in an attempt to communicate. Accordingly, we have begun writing some basic phrases in a binary using small dots and dashes. These were copied exactly, but there was also something new next to each of our words appearing at pattern. Each time we drew the same phrase, the same pattern appeared. Is this a translation? We got 299 crystals. Okay. That means we can upgrade some more commercial areas then. Crime continues to be a problem here on uh, Burritos Prime. Yeah, we should upgrade this one then. And we also need to have more amenities. There we go. Rogue Moon Base. The 
mysterious on Donkey 3 have been revealed, a detailed survey revealing that the moon is slightly lapsided, with the far side of the moon having a disproportionately, disproportionately large share of the total mass. The reason for this, we believe, is that Nunki 3A once orbited another planet which was destroyed in a cataclysmic explosion. The extra thickness on the far side of Nunki 3A is because that the side which fasted, faced the original planet. The extra material is part of the mass of that planet which was blown into Nunki 3A, knocking it out of orbit and sending it eventually into orbit of Nunki Secundus. We speculate that the planet was destroyed by a weapon, or perhaps just attempted to create powerful source-based dark matter as so a higher concentration of it in the planet and material coating the far side of the moon. So we get yeah, we can mine dark matter here. Dark matter drawing. And we also get a lot of e engineering research. 18,426. Nice. That's even more dark matter. And this station we can trade. Alright. He's almost there fixing dark matter as well. What passed? From Galactic Council past, yes. So, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Astral Rift discovered, where? In our empire, nice. Damn. They're pretty common, I must say. Let's use this. Damn, the consumer groups just seem to go down. They just fall. Council election will be had in 167 days. All my enemies are will be a part of it. That's fucking annoying. Um, that's pretty annoying. But <laughs> they are being attacked and they are completely overrun here. Still looking very good for our Federation, so... Even then they are more powerful than... So fucking annoying. Me and Chlorcesa are the most powerful original empires in the game so far. <sighs> yeah, after superiority uh, in... Uh, let's see here. Here. Oh, supremacy. I will go with politics or something, so I can strengthen my position there in the council. Energy credits from jobs. That's too expensive to research for what we get. We don't have that much. Let's go research speed 5%. We have a column ship. Yeah, 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 we do. Let's go to Jumpron. Colonize that continental planet we terraformed and it will be a city world like most of all the megacorp planets they will be city dominated Crazy how Locker many worlds we have now. Upscaling complete. We can expand further somewhere. Yeah, it will be here, so we have to wait. Research actualized. Neutronium armor. That I want to get on my ship as fast as possible. Robot assault army. Droid workers. Um, yeah, I want that. So what about... Yeah, I think they're being upgraded with the new armor as well. Formation of the Galactic Council. The only good thing with the Raxicodium Corporation, my absolute arch enemies, the other Megacorp, 
that they are in the council is that we are Megacorps, both of us. They want the laws I want. Blocker liquidated. That's how I see it. Yeah, that means you can go here and build a research station. And you are not doing anything. That means you can go down here building a research station. And he's not doing anything either. Do we have any more dark matters going on? Yeah, here, but it's not within our borders anyway, so, yep. Research actualized. Fleet command limit, another 20. But we don't have the alloys for it. Naval capacity, yeah, we do have that. But, yeah, let the leader pool, we need that. Plus in all the leaders. So where is this? Is this a, yeah, this is the new rift. We're starting the new rift here. What is this all about? We're surrounded by giant machinery. Gears and pinons twist in all directions. Each tenth of a second, the machine clicks one step forward. A single tooth from one of these gears is nearly the width of our rift sphere. Amidst swirling nebulae of dense gas and fog, there is no beginning to end with devices. Yeah, okay. 60 threads, continue researching. Upscaling complete. Alright. Read about this and continue on. We're almost done with that uh, dig site as well. So he just he only continued the dig site. And I moved him there. So let's build research stations. How is the war going again? Why aren't they attacking up here? I want to reach Corinth as well. Uh, yeah. Let's look at this here. It'll be interesting Research to see how it goes and what will happen. Droid workers, we can get Elgate Insight. Starbase building cost, Starbase module cost, no. Mega engineering, so that's a mega structure quantum catapults, mega structure restoration. I don't think we have any mega structures that need restoration in our empire. I don't think so. Let's go with it anyway. I, I'm not sure about that. Or maybe it will find something when I do that. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Many weeks have passed over that time. We have learned to communicate in a stunted fashion with the entity. From whom we have named the writer. The exchange has been difficult, but the writer tone evokes curiously as surprise. So it so as not to clutter our immediate area, it has become routine that each of the symbols painted by the writer are raised after each dialogue. Our conversation with the writer is continued for some time until a final word appeared, gift. Some after a golden sphere appeared next to our vessel, <laughs> this object behaved much differently than our previous symbols. It could be brought aboard. This was the last communication we received from the entity. Okay, I hope it's nice. Its component material contain rich amounts of data that will take our scientists years to fully understand. Damn. Monthly physics research plus 10% for 10 years, thanks to the gift and astral threads 140. Hi. I guess that's the end of it, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, that's the end of it. Um, growing planes. I got an achievement there. Okay. Astral action is available. Oh, nice. Plane of mastery. It looks new edict. Astral binding and dimensional artificing. I guess so. We 
research speed and things like that. Right, uh, so do we have any astrals? We do. Over here. Explore that rift. Upscaling complete. Terraform has been terraformed. Yeah, that was the planet known as the Lone Defender. I remember that. The moon is uh, broken here. Broken world, Valrissa. That's pretty cool. Huh. It has a molten core. Look at that. Uh, yeah, so Lone Defender it is. We need a colony ship. And I want to spread the race of humans to be the main race anyway. Consumer, oh, minus 100. Holy fuck, and I'm buying 110 already. That's fucking crazy. <sighs> I bought 2,500, but this, this cannot stand. It's so dumb. But many of these buildings are on the way. I just seem to... Just seem to be more and more expensive anyway. 104? Okay. He's done, that means you can go up here and build a star base. This is the new machine thing. The movement of a dimensional machine as is as precise as our most accurate clocks. Though we have not been able to determine its power source, with some exploring we have found shaft ex uh, extending to series of astral rifts. Whatever this place is, it has been made with a purpose in mind. The machinery is reading into many universes. Seems like an, yeah plane between planes or something. The movement is of its massive components are creating turbulence in the dense atmosphere, making it difficult to steady our instruments. With some rudimentary manipulation we could slip one of the shafts loose and use it to jam a pair of rotating cogs. This is quite the agitation of the atmosphere, allowing a more in intimate study of this impressive machinery. Uh, interfering would be irresponsible. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. We just want to study for now. Okay, Corinth is using their council powers to uh, declare a resolution guardian angels act. I don't know what that does though. Where can I easily see what that does? Okay, fleet power, okay. Defense army morale, army upkeep. Yeah, I should be voting against it. Yeah, I am. I'm opponent to it. So, so far they will not pass it, it seems. Research actualized. It will be downvoted. Colonial enterprise upsizing. Or not. Now it's very even. Ships upscaled. So you can use favors and stuff on other empires to move them to the opponent side and stuff like that. Uh. Corinth, Rexicodium, Secular Care and Commonwealth. Um. So I don't know. How's the cohesion by the way? It looks, it looks really good here. They are still the precedent. Fleet upgraded. Uh, we should upgrade the Primus fleet. Damn, look at that. 90,000. We have passed over 100,000 fleet power. Yeah, uh, the share woman. This is a woman. Analyst passed the yeah, statistician. That is research speed 5% for the entire empire. Uh, 
the opponent's side still leads here. That's interesting. Yeah, sapient combat AI. No. I don't want to research the AI a bit further here. No, thank you. Let's go. Let's see plasma throw where it, where it leads to. Trade win. Should I expand? Where should I expand next? It does not matter, right? I think we can now expand where wherever we want. But I should expand here first to um, to block them. That's very true. Upscaling complete. So Upscaling focus complete. expanding here only. Research actualized. We have plus one leaders in all of them. Uh, so that means I can have another admiral. Uh, youth astronomical sensor rate. Ah, let's go with that edict thing. It's very pretty cheap anyway. So Turkeys need an admiral. Who will that be? Ship fire rate. Raj Patil, that will be... He will be... Is that a he or she? I don't know. Blocker liquidated. Uh, repel the reddit shields. Uh, Federation defense packs where military managers... Not as Uh, I guess I agree with that, yeah. My god, they have invited to win this. Yeah, they are winning it now. By far as well, holy shit. Satisfying insult available, good. Let's go with the same enemy here. Let's check how it goes with the Sacred Empire. Oh! No! Oh! They have plus 70! Look at this! They are pathetic though, but that, that's because I'm super strong compared to them. I'm. Yeah, so now they're not hostile, they're suspicious, so this goes down constantly anyway. So the, the opinion is on the plus side. They're starting to trust us, finally. That's pretty cool. We have one more of these, uh, Sacred Empire, look at that, it's improving relation with four envoys. That's crazy. Um, clan battle clans. No, we don't like them. Um, Corinth, Raxicodium. Pathetic. Sin Empire, they have a good relation there. Cyclocar and Sovereign Stars. Cyclocar and Interstellar Pah. I'm thinking of sending a spy to Raxicodium. Let's do that. We will have a spy in our arch enemy within their borders. Upscaling complete. Sin Empire is not militaristic, so they are the same as me. Research actualized. Upscaling complete. That will bring them closer to me. Research agreement proposal. Rexicodium soon empire. They agreed that f they're building a fucking relation over there. Oh my god. Uh, I do believe we have. should have a branch office here. But it's way too expensive to do that. Wait a second, we have a commercial pack with these guys. What the fuck are they talking about? 
They have a commercial pact. What the fuck? We must have a commercial pact or be a federation with the owner of this plan. Yeah? We do. Look at Sinia here. See? We do. What the fuck is going on? Why why are they telling us that? We also have one there. Yeah, we, we're not... It's not possible to build on their orbital habitats, it seems. We must have a commercial pact to be in a federation with... Isn't that a bit weird? Why does it say it like that? I don't like their build building relations between each other. Not the fan. Uh, Sin Empire made peace with Raxicodium Corporation. Also, they have been fighting them. Oh, that's why they're losing so badly here. Most of Raxicodium is fucking occupied by uh, my Federation. <sighs> Uh, shield hit points, let's do that. Level him up. Yeah, Raj, he's, uh, he's a guy. Aggressiveness? Yes. This is the machine again. The architects of this space have knowledge far beyond our own. Interfering with these mechanisms could have widely unpredictable consequences. Despite the disruptions from the fog, we have lingered long enough to gain useful engineering insight on the precise construction of the, this mach massive machinery, as well as collected a sizable amount of astral material. Whoever maintains this space must grant architects a need. So, n oh, wow. 97,146 engineering points and 140 threads. So that means Research that one is done. Yes. Edict's found base Intel unlocks administrative park. What does that do? No. Yeah, no. We need consumer goods. <laughs> Ancient Cavitation Collapser. What the fuck is that? This high-energy weapon caused brutal micro-collapsing event on impact, generating tremendous heat and force inside target's armor. Okay. It's not that very expensive to uh, research, though. Administrative Complex, that is. Consumer to Unity. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Do we have more rifts? Yeah, that one is being researched. Okay. So we have we have known rifts, but they are not within our empire. Bo yeah, okay. This one then. That's outside. Uh, that's outside. That's in enemy territory as well. No. Oh, this is uh, actually... Uh, look at all these worlds here. Nobody has expanded into this yet. Look at all these planets. Are you fucking kidding me? I cannot reach it. This is some concern. What? Is that rift not done? Okay, can I do this? No, we are we are doing it. Okay, that's why. Uh, 
that means you will go... Uh, do we have any rifts around? Yeah, she will wait on this rift over here, so let's send her there. Minister of Defense, Jasumon died. That is the alien. He finally died. Okay. He has served us very well. Who will be Minister of Defense then? I guess Mubina Yamshidi. What is that? Military Fleet Commander Class. No. Erika von Gebser has more empire boost though. Council agenda speed, yeah. She is more a politician. Also Ines could work, but Erika von Gebser is the politician here. She should join. But we also need another for the transport fleet. We need another commander to recruit. Uh, and that will be him because he has army damage. Yeah, don't put him into politics though. He will not be very good there, he's a butcher. So there we go. Yeah, that will mark the end of this episode. So uh, we're upgrading our fleet, we can start upgrading these guys as well. Incoming and we will see what we're doing. It just keep increasing. Confederate of Dutch Shen. I don't know how we're doing. Sin Empire... Yeah, no. No, I'm not interested. You don't like my Federation partners. Commercial pact between Sin and Rexicodium. Fuck, that's so annoying. They live so close to each other as well. So in next episode I will also check if we can build any um, branch offices more in Clorciso as well. Otherwise, I'm satisfied for today and... Um, we will see what happens next time. Interesting. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoy it.